what's up guys AFC Dino here and welcome to a new video uh, actually this time I did PP max a night slash from Weevil because I don't want anything happening like what happened to the Reuniclus last time not critting any of the 15 freaking night slashes it's insane anyway let's get some new battles in okay we do have a Torkoal on guys using a Sun team with Infernape Chansey okay 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 Definitely, Weavile is gonna be a king in this one. Um, I'm gonna lead with Clefable, assuming he wants to lead off with the Torkoal. And then we can just trick the guy, get rid of his uh, Heat Rock. It's gonna be a bit of a scary game, but uh, I don't think it's anything we cannot handle. We just have to get rid of the Stalbrook first, somehow. <laughs> Okay, um... Where do I just Toxic this turn? It doesn't seem bad either. Because I know he's gonna Stealth Rock up first turn. Okay. That's fine. And I'm gonna click Flame Thrower this turn. Oh! I was going to click Trick there, but... I don't mind this. I'm gonna trick here. Uh, on a chance, he's Eevee Light. Now he teleports. Okay, that's basically handled. Assuming he's gonna bring in a Darmanitan. I'll use I'll use my Hippowden for this. Doesn't matter too much. And I do have, I did reveal. Okay. I don't know what kind of Inferno is it. Like, if this is overheat, then I actually don't want to use a powder now. I think Hippowden already did everything it needed to do. Uh, Clefable already did everything it needed to do, so I'm just letting him do whatever he wants to do. I just need to know his set. He, he decides to go for Flare Blitz, and that's fine. Because I needed clarity there. On what his set was basically. Because now I can just stall rock up. It's okay if he goes Torkoal. Torkoal is poisoned. So don't think he wants to bring it in on Earthquake. And Weavile will deal with the majority of his team. So me getting up rocks is huge. Let's see if we see leftovers. We don't. We can bring a Mandibus here. Maybe he doubles back into Torkoal. Um, but if he does attack me, I get the U-turn up. Toxic, okay. Mandibus is most likely slower than this, but now I at least know it's most likely Rocky Helmet. The Torkoal is going to take a bunch of damage and I can just U-turn here. Okay. Cool. Edit zero. Gonna bring in Goku now. And if I can bait in Torkoal, I can basically claim a kill. So I'm gonna SD here. If he toxics me, that's fine. Like, I'm claiming my kill next turn with Stone Edge. Like, he has no Stone Edge switch at all. And I'm 100% certain I can kill Salamence. Goodbye. Even if you're defensive, you're dead. Now he's forced to go into Torkoal, which means I can get, get, can get up a, a, a Drain Punch. Oh, he just goes into Infernape. That guy's crazy. I'll just go for the Speed Die, then. Like, I could have brought in Hippo. But maybe he's scarfed. Maybe he was scarfed. Um, get in this. And Earthquake is pretty free because Chansey has. Uh... Yeah. Earthquake and this was free as well. Getting rid of this Pokemon. Because he's poisoned. He's definitely going to get 2 hit KO'd by this. 
And if he switches now, he's gonna die to... Um... He's gonna die to Stalbrock if he would switch in that situation. And next time I get in Hippo, then uh, the sun will be gone. So that's really helpful. Uh, I don't really need Mandibus that much. He might click Growth. But Venusaur does knock him out with Ice Shard. Bright. Let me talk this though. <laughs> it should die, but should never know, right? I shard. What am I missing? Like versus. Venusaur. He should die, right? I'll take Life Orb Chip. If he doesn't, then I might need to go hip out and He needs to click Sludge Bomb anyway. I think that's a better play. He's not clicking Giga Drain on me. There's no way. If he does, he's crazy. But I need him to take the Life Orb chip. Plus Sandstorm. And with that Sandstorm damage up, I can now go into Mandibuzz. Now I got the necessary damage I need uh, to basically knock him out. Because he's not going to heal too much from Giga Draining here. turn he will heal less uh, than he did just now plus he doesn't have the sun he doesn't have the sun up so this time I can actually kill him it's for relegator can kill both and Dermanitan and infernape so that's that will be completely up to us but now I get to click icicle spear I don't even need to click Ice Shard now. I think we just win uh, with for Relegator here. He U-turned, so that's really good, because now he's going to take Rocky Helmet and he's going to take other damage again, uh, later on as well. And as he clicks Close Combat, meaning that I just sweep everything with Ice Shard. Uh, not everything, but he's gonna go to Manitan here. And remember, Chansey doesn't have Eevee Light anymore. That's the sticky barb, so if Relegator will win this game for us. All I literally need to do is click Ice Shard. And he's gonna die to Recoil. From Flare Blitz. And I just spam Waterfall on the Chansey. Don't need the Dragon Dance up. Two Dragon, two Waterfalls do more damage than one plus one Waterfall. So, we'll take this. I 
They definitely had some big boy threats. But... And I'm gonna swag on this guy by dragon dancing here. Oh, he doesn't let me. Yeah, yeah, he was using uh, some Infernape and Darmanitan, both physical, so he probably would have walled both. I don't know if the Darmanitan was choice scarfed or choice bandit. Hippowdon was definitely important in that, in that game. Okay, yeah, he did go for growth. But I could obviously not afford to let Hippowdon die there. Especially with uh, Torkoal gone. Once Salamence was removed, so the Stone Edge from Infernape uh, was really important. Once Salamence was removed, I get to spam Earthquake. His team is also really weak to Garchomp. If you think about it, because Garchomp can just Draco or Dragon Claw immense. And Earthquake the rest, so. Something to think about. But yeah, I'm gonna play another game. Be right back. Okay, guys, let's see what we'll face next. I do have to say, Clefable does put in a lot of work. <laughs> that sticky barb is so freaking annoying, and then being able to poison the majority of the games really nicely. Oh no. A piss. I don't know. I, I don't like playing against Hyper Offense. <laughs> but Apple Waterfall. Assuming he. Because he should also think that Dragon Dancing up is really scary for if I Dragon Dance up. So I assume he taunts me first. And that way he can only get Stealth Rock up. But I will still have this big boy threat in. Unless he decides not to go for uh, the attack. It's waterfall again. He stealth rocks up. Uh, yeah, Volcarona is gonna be a uh, big boy, big boy threat. I think we just waterfall. He's gonna get get up his um, get up his shit. I think he waterfalls. I think he's gonna taunt me again. Cause I just need to waste the reflect. Uh, that's all. I'm gonna go Clefable there. If he uses Explosion or Teleport or something, that would be nice. Uh, Light Screen doesn't do anything for him. Let's see, so he got, he got, he got Reflect up on turn five. That means we have to wait till turn 15. And I just need to kill him on a turn. This doesn't matter at all. I should have tricked him though. My bad. Why didn't I trick him? What's going on? What the heck? Why didn't I trick him? I'm so bad. Oh, he, he does not see plot up here, though. Black belt. This Pokemon is useless at this point.
I just have to look at what's valuable at, the po at this moment. An RS for me. That's logical. Reflect war of. It's gonna kill me with that. With Lucario now. I had Thunder Wave, that would have been better, but I don't think I have enough turns to actually beat this. Unless Mandibuzz can somewhat do, maybe do something. Maybe I can live, I don't know, he doesn't have Life Orb. more Pokemon to go, I guess. I don't think we can win this, but... There's one thing we can do. So if I go hip out him first, then we're gonna try with winning with Infernip, I guess. Go hit Bowden. These kind of themes are always annoying uh, to face. I knew we'd let up with Aerodactyl. I'm gonna try to knock this out. And I got. Then I'll try to win uh, with. with Infernape. I need to crit him. Crit him through Intimidate, I think. Okay. Nah, I needed to crit him there. At this point, I don't think it's possible, but I don't think I die with Hip Outing yet. I don't think I die at plus one, so he's still gonna die to a rocky helmet, maybe. Combine with Sandstorm if he attacks me next turn. He, wait, he misses! I'm gonna roar in case he tries to do this again. I don't know if the sandstorm is gonna end though. But the stealth rock means that this is gonna die. Damn! Oh, that sucks. Now I need him to miss. I need him to miss power whip. That's the only thing. That's the only way. Oh, there we go. Because Electrode is gonna die. I don't know if Volcarona can knock me out. 
Dragonite cannot knock me out from here, so... Did hit him power cross. Is that enough, though? That's not enough. So we actually need to connect Stone Edge on Dragonite. Because Electrode is gonna die. I don't think of Wait, what is he doing? Oh, he's think he thinks I'm Choice Bandit, of course. <laughs> oh, he thought I was Choice Bandit. Yeah, that's uh, that's the move Power Whip for him, man. Yeah, but there's nothing. There's not much I can do against a team like that with this. Um, like I cannot prevent Stealth Rock from, um. I cannot pre prevent Stealth Rock from Aerodactyl. I cannot prevent Screens from Electro because Electro is faster than everything. I can just taunt. And once he has Screens up, there's not. I cannot kill Lucario with anything I have in. But yeah, I'm just. Uh, I'm gonna queue up again. Hopefully, we don't face him again because his team is definitely. Playing his team is definitely easy for just hours. But him dragon dancing up was really interesting. But yeah, because he was dragon dancing, he wouldn't have knocked out my uh, Infernape. So I, unless unless I miss Stone Edge, I would lose then in that scenario. Or if he crits extreme speed, of course. But I didn't think you... Had hidden power across, that was kind of interesting. It's why is he... Or was that hidden power electric? Maybe that was electric, uh, so he can actually hit... Uh... Maybe that was electric, so he can hit... Um... Get stuff like Gyarados. Anyway, I'm g gonna pause the video and uh, we'll wait a bit. Okay. Now let's get in another one. I was bluffing the waterfall, so I also clicked waterfall on Gyarados just to make him think we're, we were choice banded. Uh, interesting stall team. Interesting stall team indeed. Um, I think he leads Garm. Makes most, that makes the most sense. I think we're fine with leading uh, Club Pable there. Okay. Is he gonna try to flinch me down with Air Slash instead of his play? Let's trick him here. Let's see what he does. Oh, I'll give him the sticky barbs. Cool. Take his leftovers as well. Okay, I don't want to go Mandibuzz because Mandibuzz needs to be there for Superior. So I'm just gonna stay in. Click Toxic. I feel the point he has to roost. That's the that's the best way to go about it, I think. I actually think for Relegator is not that useful because I can still use Trick on Reuniclus in case he is running Rocky Helmet. But I would need rocks up this game as well. But as long as Milotic exists, I don't think for Relegator gets to do anything. So we might just be better off second for Relegator. Because Clefable can still stall Milotic and yeah, he does go for Heal Bell. But since it's a it's a bold nature, still losing HP from uh, that. And I can just waterfall him here. And that Stogic is gone. Plus, my Ferelegator gets to live, so he has to go into Duck Trio. Or he doesn't go into Duck Trio, okay. Well, then I can keep Ferelegator alive to maybe click Crunch or Waterfall on his Skarmory. 
He misses his edge. That's fine with the U-turn. Oh, you can glare me all you want, dude. Give a fuck. Okay, then Weevil. And what I can actually do is go back into Bendabuzz. Assuming he wants to... Is he 100% gonna switch? Because if I pursue trap him, he can trap me with Ducktrio. Now I can U-turn and a Stealth Rock and we can just get up Stealth Rock of our own. It is indeed Rocky Helmet. Actually went into Skarma over Milo Tick in that case, so... Yeah, I can bring in uh, this guy now. So I styled Rock up, assuming he brings in the superior. Uh, but that's just exactly what I need to happen right now. Me having up rocks is so important. And I'm gonna sex for Relegator. Like I said, I don't think for Relegator does much this game. But I got rocks up this time. Which is huge. Get him Weevil now. Just once and we start clicking Icicle Spear. It goes Milo, like if I get 5 hits up on this then I can actually 2 hit KO him. It's a crit, 2, only 2 hits. Uh, but this is fine, I think Clefable kind of beats everything on his team. <laughs> As we uh, use Flame Tower. I already revealed Toxic on him. I was thinking about clicking Toxic, but I thought I already revealed Toxic. Uh, it is okay though. Your left oh, it's leftovers anyway, so it doesn't even matter. I can just poison this guy. His heal battler is gone, so this makes it even much easier. I don't really think Clefable is just going to beat everything. And next, if he goes Reuniclus, I can just defog with Mandibuzz. And a Flame Tower here. Yeah, I can just go uh, into Mandibuzz now and defog. And depending on his set, I think it's a Focus Blast set, but you never know. Left always anyway. So I just go Mandibuzz. I also think my Infernip kind of wins as well if I get rid of Redux Trio. Oh, this is completely fine, I just roost. Get HP back. He defucks for me, so it's defuck style rock. Interesting. Defuck style rock roost. So there must be one more attack. Okay. The Fox Dalbrook Bruce. We got Infernape. This is not low enough yet. But next time I click Icicle Spear, it's gonna be uh, pretty threatening as well. We just uh, do this. 
assuming he's gonna go into superior again. This time I have um, Mandibus around full HP, so uh, we'll be fine in that case. And he still needs to connect uh, Leaf Storm too. I guess I see what he's looking uh, to do, but I don't I don't ever really need to click uh, Pursuit on the superior. It's not needed. Uh, not now, at least. Yes, he still needs to connect this attack, so doesn't really matter at that point. And now that I have rocks up, I can do so much with Infernape. So I'm gonna... Oh, hold up. Gives me a U-turn on this. It's pretty decent. I'm gonna lower my Weavile if I bring it in now. I'm going to lower it a lot. Cannot risk getting Weavile too low. This damage on Superior is so nice. Actually, I can go Clefable as well. I can just click flamethrower in this case. Because what is he gonna do? Because if I spear, he's gonna bring in Milotic. Actually, do I even need, even need Infernape? I don't think so. I think it's better to go Ape. He didn't get this boost yet, so I can just go Ape and... Uh, Threatening that way. I still think Drain Punch is pretty decent here. Maybe he tries to glare me. Uh, that would be cool. But if he goes Skarm, uh, that would be nice. Because Milotic, um, I did click the correct move in this case. Because the Roxas are still gonna pressure Milotic. The Rocks are pressuring Skarmory. I don't think he's gonna bring in Skarm here. Yeah, exactly. He does bring in the Milotic, which is going to take poison damage. Wait, that did a lot. Hold up. That did a lot, considering it's... Wait, is that competitive Milotic, maybe? Maybe it's not a Marvel skill. How much did we do? This is do it KO, right? 40.5. But getting rid of this means it's opening up Icicle Spear. I'm, I'm, I'm taking the skill. I don't care if you trap me now with Ductrio. Because that means uh, Ductrio takes Stout Rock damage, which we would need as well. Now his Focus Sash is gone. And he's going to knock me out with Earthquake, of course. We'll let that happen. Skarmory still has too much HP, so... Um, if I spear the gear... I think we have to spare. And it's a wasted opportunity if we don't try it now. Because if we get 4 hits, uh, we can do it KO Skarm. This Sucker Punch is okay. Like, I, I'm planning to debug anyway. go into Mandibuzz. Maybe I actually shouldn't have gone into that. Luckily, he does go for Roost. I can Roost here myself. But if he did go for Brave Bird for some reason, then that could have been really bad. If I were tr him, I would try to go for the Paralysis. But I honestly think um, 
he might not have a breadboard attack or something. Because he's using Roost, Defog, Stealth Rock. So he might not have breadboard. Oh, he does have breadboard, okay. Because that would have meant that. Okay, luckily, we get it off, cool. That could have been bad if we didn't get the Roost off, but. Okay, we got HP back on this guy. Oh, we're getting Clefable. There's no need for me to defog. Clefable beats Superior as well. But I'm just thinking a bit of uh, flamethrowers with this guy. Especially now that this looks pretty decent. Not flamethrower, he's gonna go into Reuniclus. Got a useless burn. But we gotta go into Amanda Bus. We also have still enough HP to live Stealth Rock from uh, with Weavile. Uh, one more Stealth Rocket, so it's not too bad yet. Oh, is this set? I see. Try defogging here. Skarm comes in. It sucks that I don't have my Weavile, but... Ah! I needed that U-turn off. I actually needed that U-turn off. Whatever. If I got that U-turn off, then he wouldn't be able to go for a Rocks here. For free. But I also know that in both cases he doesn't touch this. So what I can do is just go... I can keep going Mandibuzz. And maybe he's gonna try to go Superior once. So the, the play I literally make every time is just get in this. I'm gonna foul play here. In case he goes Superior. Exactly. Trying to get the contrary of. How much did we do with foul play? 28. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, synthesis, I see. That's a bit annoying. Okay, and I'll U turn. I know exactly what to do because Synthesis, Leaf Storm, I'm pretty sure you don't run sub in this case. Here, yeah, you were using Glare, so I can go Clefable. Please get the poison off. That's all. I, that's all I need you to do. Thank you. Oh, that sucks for you. That sucks for you, sir. I get my flamethrower off. Yeah, this Pokemon is that Pokemon is kind of useless at this point. I 
think we just always flamethrower here. The poison will do the damage for us. And that's goodbye. Yeah, you're not gonna win this. <laughs> He's really not gonna win this. I always click roost on you. I have too much wiggle room at this point. Like, he should give up at this point. Like, I have two dark types. It's only a take a stored power up. Basically the same thing as with the other guy. And these Borellas actually, will actually help me. They actually help me. <laughs> this is completely fine. I can even go Weeball a bunch of times and click Icicle Spear. But he's wasting his PP now. So that's really good. But I'm still faster than him. Now we U-turn. Because he stayed in, uh, we can go Weeball. Like he doesn't touch Weeball. Just gonna click uh, Icicle Spear as he goes Skarmory. Trying to get the Rocky Helmet chip on me and now uh, this might be a 2 hit KO. Nope. We gotta wait again. Why am I only getting two hits with my icicle spears? This is dumb. If I get, if I get more hits, now I will at least try to get a flamethrower chip on him. Okay. Interesting. I know exactly what I can do here, so yeah, watch this. Because we already know his we, we already know his film was Stealth Rock Defog Spikes. Uh Stealth Rock Defog Roost Brave Bird. So he has no roar on this. He can never roar me into Weaver. So I literally just stealth rock up here and get free damage on him. Let me Earthquake once in case he tries to roost. Never mind. And again, we got damage off on that guy. I got a crit there. Interesting. Let's watch me watch what I'm doing here. We roar him back, let him take style rock damage, and I just earthquake on his roost. Like, I'll try to find another way, but he's making this video really long. Okay.
Oh? Well, this is actually good. He did defog more than me, so... And I'll just get him Weavile. Um... I don't know if he goes Skarmory directly, but... I'm, I'm getting the unlucky two hits every time with this Pokemon, which kind of sucks. Hold up. I can try this now. I can use acid armor. Okay. Could have killed him with Night Slash there, but he decided to stay in. I guess I could have risked Night Slash, but he would have still lived anyway. Doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> I just keep doing this. In the, in the long run, I will win. In the long run, I will win. I don't know why it always has to come down to this, man. Any core fits, cool. Yeah, I'll probably skip a bit of this video as well. Uh, these Reuniclus players, man. Still trying to win with Reuniclus when I have two Dark types alive. Insane, insane. Like, I, I, all I needed to do was get rid of Sir Pear, and at that point, Skarmory doesn't do anything to me because he doesn't touch my Hippowden. And I can Earthquake on his Roosts. I can get up Style Drug Worm in, in a bunch of times. To style right to damage him. Yeah, that's it, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a <laughs> and yeah, join our Discord server. Check out the Patreon uh, for the Focal Paste. And uh, yes, follow me on Instagram. Peace out.